embrace the strange. Today's illusion is Bobbin in Flesh, an extension of Compass in Flesh, but not exactly like my other series. I don't feel they are subsequent, but alike in that they are, to me, humanoid compositions of objects, at least as my style goes and my mind recognizes. Embrace the strange. Collapsing in folds, the figure has, with immense effort, lifted its arms up through its gaping torso and is struggling to intertwine its fingers together to form a prayer. From its elongated neck, the head descends lazily. Hope is almost lost. This might be the final piece of the Archaic series, because that's what I've decided to name that, although I had the concept in my mind for quite a while. I pis I've postponed this painting twice for good reason. I could see it crystal clear in my mind, but for the life of me, I couldn't render it clearly in a sketch. Although I draw from imagination, I try to think of musculature and bones to structure bodies. You know, like the sort of ball joint effect. I think now, in retrospect, shoulder blades and a rib cage would have made a substantial difference and probably like rounded out the body. Although I do like the flat effect. Perhaps, I'd like to think, I would have struggled 10 to 15 minutes less than I actually did. <laughs> so I abandoned it. Then I returned, and I tried to tweak it on the canvas paper, so this is the third time. Charming. No. I wanted to quit. The process was painful. Paintful, I feel like, yes. It turned out decent. I'm not ashamed of it. In fact, I have an odd sense of pride when I look at it. It is not perfect, but it is not completely ruined. I added a person to my pen pal list, the second man I thought of. This is my spin on the question, who, dead or alive, would you have dinner with? That I've seen interviewers ask musical artists most often. That was a random shift, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I don't want to have dinner with anybody. I don't enjoy eating, and I, would, I, don't, I don't want to do that. Write to me, yes. For women, I said it was Zora Neale Hurston first, second... Anne Rice. Men, I never said it, but first would be Franz Kafka, but I think Egon Schiele has dethroned him. It's odd because Franz is a sun in Jupiter Cancer, but with a Gemini moon, Mercury, and Venus, with a Leo ascendant. I think Gemini men might be a sort of guilty pleasure of mine. Egon Schiele is born June 12th. He's a Gemini sun in Mercury, Cancer ascendant, Venus, moon and Aries. I couldn't resist googling his natal chart. That aside, I like his mind. His views on art are similar to my own and intriguing in their difference. The fragments included in the book on his letters really resonate with me, although his mom's letter eclipsed his slightly. Whoever it is that has perverted your way of thinking, I curse, and a mother's curse stays. That is absolutely epic to me. The author was very critical of Egon and his relationship with his mother especially, which is odd. Why write a book about a person you don't like and he used it as evidence of misogyny and this was a man too so it's like I don't know I don't think it was misogyny Egon seems to have been influenced by Friedrich Nietzsche so when he wrote to his mother he created himself it wasn't a full slight to her womanhood it was a renouncement of her and <laughs> a denouncing of her cold influence on him or the lack there of it on him he wasn't hurt he was hurt she didn't support him being an artist she wanted him to be somebody he was not. That's what it seems like. And if you interpret that, if you think about it, you know, in that situation, it's like to ask that of him, to him was evidence of her disregard for him. Just my interpretation. His view of women as mothers improved when he married and had the hopes of starting his own family, but he then died. And oh my God, you think it was, you think it happened like real time, the way I felt his death. I'm like, wait, what? 28? 28 and then the wife was six months pregnant and I'm like this is this is tragic this is absolutely tragic and this author also called Egon Schiele's writing clumsy and unclear it wasn't first off you know it wasn't even meant for you sir and it was very clear he was a colorful speaker not in a profane way I don't know how else to describe it I get it or I feel like I do if you take anything away from this video it is art truly art and art goes on so I will in my next video